Okay, we learned that uh, shape is critical to the functioning of proteins. And there are thousands upon thousands of different proteins because proteins assume what? Thousands and thousands of different shapes. And so, how in the world can proteins have so many different shapes? Because proteins are very complex molecules. We see from this diagram four levels of structure in proteins. All proteins have the first three, and very, very complex pro proteins have this fourth, fourth level as well. What are these levels called? Primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. And unfortunately, those are the terms you'll need to come up when I do the when you uh, have the uh, four module test. So let's briefly talk about these proteins using this diagram. First level, the primary structure. I see a bunch of boxes joined together here with little uh, three letter abbreviations. Oh well, we saw that before. We know what that means. Each one of these little boxes represents a what? A particular amino acid. And so the first thing that must be right about a protein is it must have the correct amino acid sequence. There are how many different amino acids? 20, and they are not in just any old order. They're in a certain exact order for a particular protein. Exactly so many amino acids and exactly certain ones in certain positions. That's the first thing that must be right about proteins. As we'll see later, this primary level is determined uh, by our genes. It's genetically controlled. And sometimes people inherit mutations, we'll talk about that as well, that affect this amino acid sequence. There may be the wrong amino acid in a certain place, which affects the functioning of that protein. So we'll learn about that a little bit later. What's the secondary structure? Secondary structure, we have several diagrams here. I'm just going to concentrate on this coiling. But this is a low-level um, uh, structure. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a structure that gives the amino acid strength. And uh, so we'll talk about what causes that uh, secondary structure when we do the recap. But uh, secondary structure, a low-level uh, pattern that provides strength or the amino acid chain. Tertiary structure. Here is where we get the shape. We see a three-dimensional folding of the polypeptide chain it provides a shape. And remember, shape is critical to the functioning of proteins. So, what levels of protein do all, what levels of structure do all proteins have? They have at least the first three. At least the first three levels. Now, quaternary structure. If tertiary structure provides shape, what does quaternary structure provide? And proteins that have it, even more complicated shape. And so it says here, over to the right, two or more polypeptide chains joined together. Say, uh, wait a minute, I thought a polypeptide was a protein. Well, a polypeptide chain forms the protein when there's only three levels, the simpler proteins. But in more complex proteins, the polypeptide chain forms part of the protein. And if you want to look ahead, or think ahead to, uh, as a preview of coming attractions, each polypeptide chain is programmed for or determined by one gene, one DNA gene. If you didn't get that, don't worry about it. But what do we have here? Two or more polypeptide chains joined together to form this quaternary structure. So there you have it, primary, secondary, and tertiary. All proteins have those. And then quaternary structure possessed by the most complex proteins.